The new state assessment results are now available, and like a lot of government information, they are not easy to interpret. This short video attempts to put the results in perspective and shows you where to find the data for your school district. The Department of Education reports outcomes in four levels. Levels 3 and 4 are considered on track for college and career. Students in level 2 are considered at grade level, but they need some degree of remedial training to be on track for college and career. And level 1 is below grade level. Now let's start with the state level results for high school students. In all three subjects, 10th grade math, 10th grade English language arts, and 11th grade science, there are more high school students below grade level than are on track for college and career. 47% are below grade level in math and only 20% on track. In English language arts, 35% are below grade level and just 27% are on track. 37% are below grade level in science and only 34% on track. Now these sobering results put perspective on sky-high graduation rates. How meaningful is a 90% graduation rate when more than a third of high school students are below grade level? As more parents have become aware of these results, some education officials have tried to claim there's a new definition of on track for college and career that includes level two. Now we ask the Department of Education for documentation of any changes approved by the State Board of Education, but nothing was provided. We did, however, find several examples of KSDE using the original definitions approved in 2015. About a month ago, a state official responded to a parent saying that only levels three and four are on track. KSDE also based recent school district awards for academic preparation on levels three and four. And they told the U.S. Department of Education that only levels three and four are proficient. Now, by the way, the 2021 ACT results for college readiness also are quite similar to the results for level three and four on the state assessment. Just 21% of grad Kansas graduates who took the ACT were considered college ready in English reading, math, and science. Now let's look at some district level results. The majority of high school students in many districts are below grade level in math. 68% in Wichita, 41% in Shawnee Mission. Kansas City, Topeka, Salina, and Dodge City also have more than half of their high school students below grade level. About a quarter of high school students in these districts are at grade level but not on track, and most of them have only about 10% on track for college and career. Now you can find the results for every district at kansasopengov.org. Click on the school button and then select 2021 state results in the drop-down box. And we provide this information so each parent can make their own informed decisions as to what, if anything, needs to change. This isn't about criticizing teachers and principals. In fact, many of them are frustrated by barriers that prevent them from doing their jobs. The good news is that there are proven solutions. Florida, for example, went from being one of the worst states to one of the best. It wasn't money that made the difference. Florida spends about $5,000 per student less than Kansas. Go to fightingchanceks.org and request a link to our 35-minute documentary called Giving Kids a Fighting Chance. We can have the best public education system in the nation if we can muster the courage to work together.